Sam started out with a jar of seeds on his kitchen shelf planted a row in the garden and it has grown from there. We're up to about 25 acres now and uh, it just keeps getting bigger every year. Every pumpkin has a different personality. You gotta look at the pumpkin. For example, that there with the curved neck, head. You're better off painting that one and decorating it from the end because that's got a Stopolopolis nose from Sesame Street. Night four last was the first vandalism we've ever had. And there's busted pumpkins laying everywhere. And apparently some kids come through and thought that was fun to do. When they threw them on the ground, they busted, cracked and busted, little ones busted. Uh, they busted the big ones. When the big ones hit, they pop in half. And these are all cracked where they throw them on the ground. There's another hole over there. Big white ones and big orange ones. They hit the big ones first and then they hit the little ones. But they were more fun to bust the big ones because when they dropped them, they busted because of the weight. So the little ones sometimes bounce. When you take a, 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 an eight or $10 pumpkin and you do over $600 worth of damage, that's a lot of pumpkins. Well, that's $600 out of my pocket. So it affects not only me, but my health. And it affects the customers. Parents, you need to start knowing where your kids are and you need to start teaching them right from wrong. I enjoy seeing the kids, seeing the parents, you know, and you know, they love coming here. So it's, there's, there's no perfect pumpkin. It's, it's perfect in the eye of the buyer.